Hey, what's up guys? It's your girl Innovator Angel back at it with another freaking video. And in today's video, we are going to be having some opinions about the Met Gala. And I will be also reacting to, or not really reacting because I have seen some of these outfits already, but breaking down some of these outfits. So if you do like this video, if you like me, please subscribe. If you vibe, we are on the road to 100 subscribers. And yeah, let's get into this video. I want to keep it short because I also know that you guys, some of you guys are saying that my videos are a little bit too long. So I'm going to try to be fast in today's video and not ramble too much. So let's get into it. So this year, Met Gala 2023, the theme was Carl Lagerfeld and it was in remembrance and honor of him and his legacy. Now, Carl Lagerfeld is a controversial public figure who passed the last year. He um, was the head of Chanel. He was also a quite controversial person, you know, rubbed a lot of people the wrong way, said a lot of the wrong things. So this Met Gala was in remembrance of him and his legacy. I'm assuming him and Anna Wintour were friends. I'm not really sure. But I believe that this year's theme was very, very literal. Like when you're think when you are specifically remembering one designer and they worked for Chanel, one brand, which is a very, like Chanel as a brand. When you think of Chanel, you think of a purse, you think of a two piece set, very classy. You think of old money, rich, you know, skinny. That's what I'm thinking. Honestly, I feel like the theme was very literal. Like it was not really hard for people to mess up the Carl Lagerfeld theme because it was literally like, okay, Chanel like what are we doing we're just and the 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 color schemes of his Chanel time period black white gold silver occasionally a baby pink a baby blue like sequins like it's not really giving much much creativity within it you know the lines are the box is very small and i don't know if it's because the last few themes were very broad and everybody was talking crap about it about how they were doing with the Met gala and how lame it was but it's like this was just like wow everybody was spot on everybody did chanel everybody did carl lagerfeld so i just think it was a little bit too literal but i do believe that it was really cute for anna wintour to have a dedication to someone whether or not it is a controversial person or not it's very beautiful to have a whole Met gala theme dedicated to you and dedicated to your work that being said his this met gala was just repetitive it was just like ooh, wow another person did it right another person did it right another person did it right like but nobody wowed me now there were some people that i was like i mean i expected it not gonna lie like i expected doja cat to do something insane if she was coming like do i really know if that's really doja cat or if it's some light skin girl that just put you know we don't really know because it don't look like her but you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying like nothing really wowed me like oh my god like last year if i'm still thinking about the met gala last year i still think of blake lively's met gala outfit where she literally changed her gown in the middle like you know what i'm saying last year i even i think of iman's outfit who am i thinking of this year nobody not even nobody did it for me nobody wowed me nobody nobody was doing it for me like yeah everybody's so obsessed with the one look of doja cat but like what are we expecting this this girl literally bedazzled her whole face red with jewels like she literally did the the makeup that's beat up she's gonna go and above and beyond for every event that she's invited to fashion wise because she's done it every single time everybody else what are we doing here what are we doing here we're following the theme and we're playing our part and we're just being boring also a lot of the usuals that i'm 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 waiting for i'm i'm anticipating for we're not there Nicki minaj ariana grande katie was Katy Perry here? I don't believe Katy Perry was there. Zendaya, um, Taylor Swift, Blake Lively, Bella Hadid. Like, 
Miss Met Gala. Where were you at? JT, literally Beyonce, Lady Gaga, Billy Porter, like, and that's one of the few men. Harry Styles, like, where was everybody at? Huh? What were y'all doing? And I was at the Cali Uches concert. Y'all will see that in a vlog in the future. But I even wish she showed up. Because at least I knew she would at least give something. Summer Walker, give me something, please. Y'all gonna have the same regular boring celebrities. Like, and I know she, um, I know Anna went to her. She wanted to have it a little bit more exclusive, a little bit more elite this year. Girl, just because you're making more elite does not mean it has to be more boring. I know she really wanted people to like do the theme and stuff. I don't really know, actually. <laughs> I don't know this lady. But, like, <laughs> what? What is this? There is a note, I, there is a note, that the men did do a little bit better this year. Diddy did a little bit better, the whole like coat thing. I'll talk about his outfit in a minute. So ASAP Rocky, whatever he does, it's just not giving. <laughs> I'm sorry, like last year it was not giving, this year it's still not giving. Like. I don't know what it is about his outfit, but something was just off. Or it, if it was just, if his outfit and Rihanna's outfit went a little bit more together, then it would make sense. But, okay, maybe you, you guys could have two standalone outfits. Come on. Come on. Overall, I am going to say this is very much giving prom. This was giving prom. This was giving last minute. This was giving boring. This was giving nothing nothing you know what was giving heavenly figures camp even camp was somewhat giving somewhat at least we had hits and misses like everybody just did it too like too predictably it was just boring i wasn't wowed by nobody except maybe doja cat and i just wasn't impressed i was really bored i was really hoping for much more so now that i got my overall opinions out the way let's go ahead and rate some of these outfits so we have four different categories we have uh, <clears throat> drum roll please the first one is cutting up because they cutting it up. All right, they did the damn thing. They did it. They look good. And they, they ate and left no crumbs, okay? The second category is, that's cute. That's all right. It's okay. I mean, that's cute. What else is there to talk, to talk about? It's cute. The third category is, okay, but what else? What else? Like, okay, but you could have done better. Okay, but you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And the last one is, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, it's just, okay, what else? The last category is, you could have done better. Seriously. You came to the Met Gala Ball in that? So let me go ahead and get my computer and pull up a uh, Vogue website and we will talk. It has 210 celebrities, but we are not gonna go through all of that because I'm trying to make this under 10 minutes. So we're gonna talk first about the iconic couple that everybody loves to talk about, ASAP Rocky and Rihanna. So this, her outfit is giving Chanel Bride. I do love that it has a reveal. And ASAP Rocky is doing it in remembrance of Carl Lagerfeld, his outfit that he wore for one of his many different fashion shows overall overall would give the outfits together seven out of ten the only coordination really is the white the black and the okay so i guess there's a lot of coordination <laughs> the white red and the black um the lip is going i mean the outfits are not giving much they are not giving much I mean, it's going to fit in the that's cute category because it's not wowing me, but it's not terrible. It's just, it's on theme, but it's, I mean, Rihanna is pregnant, so I will give her that, but it's just not doing it for me. She's done better, and honestly, I have never really cared about ASAP Rocky's fashion, so. But is a look on theme? I think it's Cardi B. I mean, Cardi B, one thing about a Libra, they are always going to look good. I'm just kidding. <laughs> One thing about a Libra, they're always gonna look good. And Cardi B, she looks good. She doesn't, she doesn't, she looks like almost like Frankenstein also with how the hair looks. And is it Frankenstein or is it the um, Adams Family? I'm getting one of those vibes. The outfit looks like it's a, some sort of velour. 
I mean, it's cute. It's not wowing me, but it's cute. So I'll give it a 7 out of 10. You know, I'm being nice today. Any Ortega. Now, this is cute. This is really cute. This is almost giving me the same vibe as last year's theme, which was Gilded Era with the bodice. She has a corset and then a cute little, like, train and the shoes. Everybody and their mama had a train. Everybody and their mama had a train. Even the dresses that didn't need a train had a train. But, yeah, it's cute. I would say this is definitely on theme. And I'm going to put her in the cutting, um, cutting up category. So, she gets an 8 out of 10 for me. I don't really know who Pedro Pascal is, but a lot of people be talking about him. I was only going to do celebrities that I knew, so but a lot of people be talking about him. But I'm like, I don't know. I don't know who this Italian white guy is. I'm not going to lie to you. I think he's Italian. I'm just... Okay, anyways. Red suit or red trench coat with shorts. Red and black. See, the, t the colors... I mean, it's different because he's wearing shorts, but is it a look? Oh, no. The shoes. Uh-uh. It just looks like he's wearing no pants. <laughs> so, I'm going to do... Uh, you could. You could have done better. You could have done better. It just looks like underwear. This is going to be... And I am harsher on the men, but this is going to be a 3 out of 10 for me. Oh, Gigi Hadid, not the Hadid sister I really care about. I mean, who was expecting her to look bad, really? It's cute, like, I don't know if it's really necessarily giving Carla, oh, man, it's giving Chanel, it is giving like 90 Chanel, but it's cute, like, it's like, mm, meh, mm. so I'll give it a five and a half. Oh, God, <laughs> sequins. Again, sequins, like Kendall Jenner, woo. Some way, somehow, she gonna have her coochie out. <laughs> Some way, somehow, she is gonna have her coochie out. Like, she looks cool. She looks like she about 6'5", but I just cannot. It's giving Frankenstein. It's also giving, like, Fashion Nova. Ew, you have you could have done better, babes. This is, a and you you expect more from her. You really do. Three and a half. Oh, Lord. What the heck is this? Like, it just feels like any chance she gets, she gonna try to show off her body and show off that her product. Like, girl, are you wearing skims right now on the red carpet? I thought you wasn't even gonna come. It's like, girl, you are supposed to be a fashion icon. And I do say Lib Libras could dress, but like, she has like, honestly lost her touch because what is going on? First of all, it looks cheap pearls if you're gonna do pearls do the whole dress do the whole do the whole dress pearls and you have that little coat as a moment but we always see your body girl how about switch it up and do something flowy how about switch it up and do a gown how about switch it up and do something different jeez you could have done better that's where your ass is at you could have done better <laughs> two now, one thing about Miss Anne Hathaway is she is going to come and she's going to serve a look. And honestly, 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 she did just that. This is Chanel. This is, this is that. Oh, my God. She is in the cutting up category. I'm going to give Miss Man a nine because this is beautiful. And the thing about Anne Hathaway is she knows how to pose. She knows how to work that camera. And she's talented. No shade. Ooh, Donatelli Versace. I don't really know what to say about this one. I don't really know. It is cute. It's cute. I'll give it that. It's cute. Yeah, that's all I can say. I really cannot say much. Because, I mean, it's like something we've seen before with the mesh. But then the, the corset bodice building binds i don't know right here it is a little bit different instead of the typical corset and then the sparkly skirt on the bottom i don't know what to say i would just say it's cute yeah i'll give it a six and a half. Ooh, jennifer lopez one word f-u-g-l-y <laughs> i'm sorry Am I? No. Because what is this? Girl, we've seen you in this about 50 million times. You're wearing the same thing with the... Cro Sorry, Kush. With the crossover. With uh, girl, 
give if you're gonna give something give us something else okay you could have done better it's just cheap this is gonna be a two out of ten you right next to kim now doja cat everybody in their mama is loving this everybody in their mama is loving this i mean i just don't know if this hurt it doesn't look like her it looks like it could be any light-skinned chick with a bald cap on and some spray tattoos on. That does not look like Miss Doja. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, maybe it is. It probably could be. But it don't look like her. And, and a lot of the fashion things she's been doing lately, we don't really know if that's sis because they covering her whole face up. Oh, I mean, it's cute. She is cutting up, so she will be in that category. The dress is stunning the the concept is beautiful the dress it's like almost like a wedding dress like i would love except the little headpiece i i would love a dress like that as a wedding piece as a wedding dress so wedding designers contact her but yeah i would give this outfit like an eight and a half out of ten so i'm a hayek it's out Where's that one? Okay, what else? Like, it's not much that it's giving for me, honestly. It's not giving much. Yeah, so I'm gonna give it a four out of 10. Oh God, this guy, <laughs> Lil Nas X. It's like, I don't know why, but so far every Met Gala that this guy goes to he's he's giving the same thing like didn't last year he come in some gold thing similar outfit like you are gonna do underwear and boots at the Met Gala bombastic side eye like and he had his ass cheeks out on the red carpet I mean I know some people do I know some girls do so I mean is it really like we're trying to be gender equality and all that stuff but the eyes too like if we're gonna do a concept let's do it right so he will be in the same category as everybody else you could have done better the saggy underwear in the front like come on dude who is on his team and who is telling him this is a look oh god kylie jenner I'm pretty sure we all seen this on this girl's Instagram multiple times because this is all she wears. A bodycon dress with cutouts. Ooh, and she had a little moment where she took the cape off. Girl, everybody do not need a train. Everybody do not need a train in every single dress. We seen this dress on your Instagram about 50 million times. You could have done better because we've seen you do better. I just don't think she wants to be there anymore. Like, every time I see anything with Kylie, it just does not look like she wants to be there. Girl, stop being famous. Tell your mommy you don't want to go. Tell her no. Oh, Bad Bunny. He has a train as well. Now, it's sad that your man will go to the Met Gala and eat you up and eat you up because honestly i thought this was a regular white suit with the train with the flower train and it almost is almost like resembling rihanna's outfit like i'm getting the same vibes but the back was stunning the back was stunning so he's gonna be in the that's cute category he's gonna get a six for me well no let me be nice he's gonna get a seven he's gonna get a seven it was cute it was cute it was cute it was cute, cute. billy eyelash I don't know okay what else like what else like okay I guess but what else like it's just I don't know every time I see her outfits at the Met Gala I'm just like okay I guess but it's missing something even with the Marilyn Monroe it was missing something like it's just something about her outfits it's just missing I don't know but it's cute but it's in the okay what else kind of category it's like a five for me Oh, Pete Davidson. Why is he there? I just feel like they should have, and I don't know if this is mean to say, y'all could have sent that um, invite somewhere else. Maybe Nicki Minaj, maybe Ariana Grande. 
maybe Billy Porter, maybe maybe somebody else. Somebody like if you're gonna come to the Met Gala, you're really gonna give this. This is what you're gonna give. Ooh, send that send that invite to somebody regular, please. This is in the category same as his ex. You could have done better. That's a one out of ten for me. The lowest effort possible. Ooh, Cara Delevingne. Now, this is, I did not even see this when I was looking at the thing earlier. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. I feel like she did have to go hard for Carl Lagerfeld. Is this the best that I've seen? I mean, the whole night has been boring. No cap. It's been very boring. I mean, white and black shoes. The It is a unique looking dress. Her hair looks good. She looks better than she has been looking. But overall, I'm going to have to give her like a, okay, what else? Like, it's just like a five for me. Lizzo, wow. Pearls on a black dress. You could have done better. We have seen this girl do so much better. This is so, so low effort. Yeah, we're going to give you a three. Oh, I have no idea who this is, but this is an interesting look. Now we have Elle Fanning. Um, it looks like a a wedding gown with flowers and some sort of like medieval headdress type of thing. It is cute. I don't know if it is in theme. It is definitely in color theme. It is cute, but it's not the best. But I'm going to go ahead and give it in the that's cute category. So it's like a six and a half for me. Dua Lipa, this is really cute. This is also giving the Gilded Era for um of last year. But this is like, this is something that I would expect Karl Lagerfeld to design himself. A beautiful bodice, a beautiful, simple Chanel moment. Oh, it is by Chanel. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to give her, an, because this, honestly, honestly, this, I have like, looking at these photos i'm like dang it's really not much to go off of i'm gonna go ahead and give her a cutting up category even though this is not the best that i've ever seen in the met gala uh what's her name emily radajkowski she always looks like not human she looks so good not human oops oops y'all seen too much y'all seen too much y'all seen too much yeah that's cute Maybe I will give her the cutting up because it's been boring. So I'll give her cutting up, but it's like a seven for me. But it's really cute. It's really pretty. Woo. Naomi Campbell. She. Mm. Mm. I love pink. I love silver. But do I love the execution of this dress? I don't. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is gonna give me a six out of 10. It's gonna be, it's cute, but it's cute, but she could have done better. Not gonna lie. Now, everybody was talking about Miss Emma Chamberlain. Stresses me out. This one is the one, this is one of the ones that stresses me out. Where, where did it go wrong? Like, whoa like whether it's the seams not being finished on the outfit the the middle piece maybe they didn't want to show skin but like why make it cropped i don't know i don't know the makeup is just so dark and just ugh. i expected better I'm not gonna lie from her i expected way better this is a four out of ten for me this is also in the category, but okay, what else? Because, no. She looks amazing. This is how you do this sheer moment right here in the midriff. This is how you do it right. Look at Kiki. She looks like money. She looks like Carl Lagerfeld designed it for her specifically. Specifically. She don't even look like she just had a baby. Okay? And she did. Okay? So she is in the cutting up category and I will give her an eight and a half. This is beautiful. This is gorgeous. Maybe I'll give her a nine even. Beautiful. Like where was Megan a Stallion? Like where are the hard hitters at? You know what I'm saying? Oh, 
Jared Le Leto. I saw him in a cat outfit. I don't know if that was AI or not. But if this is right, this is not what I saw him in. You never know what to expect with this guy. And that's why he keeps somebody in it, like, keeps you on your toes. I know he's a controversial person. We just talk about shit right now. But he's going to keep you on your toes, okay? Because I swear I saw him in a cat outfit. Anybody else seen it? Overall, he cutting up, okay? Oh! <laughs> Listen, like, this guy is going to keep you on your toes, okay? Yeah, cutting up. I'll give it a, a solid eight and a half now this she was cutting all the way up she was cutting all the way up she did that this is a 10 for me she might even be in my opinion one of the best dress of this year's met gala not gonna lie to you this is how you do a carl lagerfeld tribute right 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 her and doja they doing it, okay? Now, this was one of the ones that was a little bit like, this was one of the first outfits I saw. I was like, every time with you, Janelle, every time. I just don't think I like her, per I don't like her fashion. It's not, it's, everything can be your cup of tea. It could be good for her style, but I mean, it's interesting. It is a very interesting Met Gala look, and I will give her that. It is very interesting. It is unique. Nobody else is doing it, and... It got people interested in it. So I will give it like a, a seven and a half in that's cute category. We need to hurry up and wrap up. So I'm going to give you about a couple more. Diddy. Now, I'm finally glad they are starting to do a little something with the men's fashion because it's getting boring. It was getting very, very boring. And honestly, honestly, maybe men's fashion just is boring. Because men just don't do it like that, like like a woman would do it. But did he did something with that. He did something. Now, he didn't do the best. He's not no Chadwick Boseman. But it's good. It's, I mean, it looks, he, I'm not going to talk about him. I don't want to, but it looks, I love a good all black outfit. He looks powerful. He looks a little scary. Not going to lie. If I saw him in person, I would. I don't know, but um, yeah, it's cute. I'll give it a, a cool solid seven. Oh, Thames. Um. Hmm. Oh, okay. It's unique. Yeah, it's unique. Is it my favorite? No. But is it unique? It is unique, but it's not my favorite. I give it a cool six and a half. It's gonna be in the that's cute category. Oh, Burna Boy. It's like crisscross plaid, maybe? Crisscross plaid with the like emo dreads in the in the front of the face. Is it giving Carl Lagerfeld? Not not really, but it is finally giving some color. Jeez Louise. And it's different for men's fashion. It's like sometimes you might not even really like what the man has on. In this case, I really don't. But at least it's not a regular black suit and tie. So you got to give him cookie points. So he's going to be in the that's cute category. But seriously, it is not my favorite outfit. So I will give it a 5 out of 10. Mary J. Blige is also in the same vibe. Like it's different. It's Mary. It's not Carl Lagerfeld. It's blue also, which is good. It's not doing it for me. It's not. Something about that print. Those roses. It's not. It's also a 5 out of 10. It's cute. Fashion Nova. Madeline. The girl from um, Outer Banks. Madeline something. Just, it's giving Fashion Nova. Okay, but what else? Like, 4 out of 10. Let's see. Tiana Taylor. That is... What did she say? Petunia? Petunia? Petunia Lagerfield? I don't care what y'all say. Every... Any and every single event you invite Miss Tiana Taylor to, she was step eat in on everybody. Okay, 10 out of 10, she's cutting the F up, okay? Let's do a couple more. We got my, maybe like two or three more. 
Oh. Oh. Uh, Carl who? Who? That used to be my Instagram name. If you know, you know. Anime who? But, um, uh, all of Olivia Roosting. Oof. I don't know. But he's doing it to me. He's kind of. He got an 8 out of 10. Erica Badu. She's always. I don't even know how I said her name. Erica Badu. She's always going to do it. She always going to do it. Not going to lie. I did think this was a Native American act. Um, is she an actress or a model? I thought it was a Native American girl. If you know who I'm talking about. But I mean this is cool. This is really cool. It's, she going to be in that that's cute category now russell westbrook he low-key turned himself into a fashion man like a fashion i'm not gonna say an icon but he be doing something different for the man and he be giving it so he's in that's cute category as well and it is giving chanel so he's gonna get an eight out of ten for me alex new like lizzo you could have done something like this lizzo that's how you do it that's how you do it that's real cute yeah that's an eight Jeremy Pope, Balmain, Balmain. God, look at that. That's how you do it. Cutting up, cutting, cutting up. 10 out of 10. He's on the best dress list. Like the outfit is simple, but that train, that's how you do a train now, all right? Ooh, wow. The men's fashion this year, it saved the women. Not gonna lie. Who is this? Alton Mason. This is beautiful. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Cutting up. Let's talk about Serena Williams. Cute. Whatever. I feel like I could have... I don't know how much I'm expecting out of her for a fashion event. Not gonna lie to you. So, I'm gonna say, okay, but what else? But I am glad that she announced her pregnancy. A lot of women have been getting pregnant lately hopefully i'm not gonna be one of them <laughs> i am good y'all i got enough to worry about with a dog okay let me hurry up my my computer about to die this is not who i was looking for but this this is what i mean when come to the Magala correct okay she is cutting up What's her name again? Yara Shahidi. She is cutting up. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful outfit. She is getting a... I don't give her a nine and a half, but she really is almost giving ten. It's not a ten. It's a nine and a half, but it's beautiful, y'all. Holly Bailey. She is becoming an it girl, really. Now, if you know me, I'm not that big of a fan of lace, but this is beautiful and i really wonder where do they be putting them locks because her locks are so long like how we need a tutorial we need a tutorial like yesterday but this is beautiful she's cutting up nine out of ten and not gonna lie i'm kind of glad her sister did not come because i feel like hallie bailey she needs not that her sister be showing her up but it's more like she needs to just stand a little bit on her own a little bit more you know what i'm saying I had almost scrolled to the end to see this girl. This is Miss Ice Spice, what everybody be talking about. Now, the camera is throwing me off, not gonna lie. The camera in her hand is throwing me off. I would have expected a purse from her. I would have liked a purse from her, not gonna lie. But I know you don't want to, like, tell any symbols or anything like that. But I would have liked a purse from her to keep it on brand. But the outfit is giving Fashion Nova. It is giving with the... Uh, with the seams right like if y'all was gonna invite my girl and give her a designer and do all this stuff why do it so last minute why rush it why do it so wrong like i feel like she could have gave better she could have ate better maybe they gave Nicki Minaj her like they like nah Nicki not coming let's get her you know she just got a cool time from Nicki or something like that but no 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 the outfit is a four out of ten for me. I do expect better from her in the future. So she is gonna be in the okay what else category. This is her first Met Gala, so I will give her that. I will give her leeway. But next time she comes, she better come hard. She better come hard. Harder, okay? If y'all liked the video, if y'all like my thoughts, if you have any other reactions about Meg Gala, if you have any thoughts that you would like to 
you know, bring into the conversation, you know, let a real girl know. I will be responding to you guys in the comments. I may take a little bit long to respond in the comments, but I am responding to every single comment and I read every single comment. So do if you do comment down below and I do not respond right away, just know I will be responding. I'm slow, but I'm sure. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. Stay tuned. We have new videos coming out every single Thursday. <laughs> every Thursday, I'm going to try. I really am going to try. But stay tuned for Thursdays. Thank you so, 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 from, so, 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 so much for watching. Bye.